Hi, class. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, guys. Thank you for waiting. I'm so sorry. I was having trouble to be able to connect, but uh... you're welcome. <laughs> good evening. No worries. Good. Good. How are you? How are you, Rocio? I'm great. Thank you. And I'm a little. I'm sleepy, but I'm mm -hmm. great to be here. Oh, Thank you. Good. I'm, <laughs> glad. I'm glad that you joined us. Even though you're sleepy. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you for, for being here. Okay, and what about you, teacher? How are you? I'm good. I'm very, very good. Yes. <laughs> La teacher se estaba poniendo bonita, por eso que no ingresaba. <laughs> but thank you. I really appreciate it. <laughs> bien, bien alegre anda ahora. Uh, yes, I'm, I'm actually very, very happy today. Um, I'm... I'm happy because, uh, well, I'm, I'm almost going to be um, going on my vacation, so I'm very happy. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, huh? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so, um, so class, um, how, how are you today? How was your week? We finished the week, yay! Por fin, right? We're, re we're done, we're ready for the weekend. Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, good. Oh, do you have to work tomorrow? I know some oh, of you- no. No? No. Some of you told me- I don't know. No? No? No, I will enjoy my weekend. Good, good, yeah, you deserve it, you deserve it. Um, okay, well, I wanna see those beautiful faces, so if you can turn on your camera for me, that would be wonderful. Okay, hey, there we go. Thank you, guys. Okay. All righty, um, I'm gonna take attendance right away. So we don't waste any more time. Um, give me a moment. Uh, uh, Ani? Ani? No. Uh, Ana Maria? No? Ana Maria? Okay, I'm um, Carolina. Present. Welcome, Carolina. Thank you. And uh, Emily? Emily? No? Um, Hazel? Hazel? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Hazel and um, Joanna. Joanna. Okay. Um, um, okay. Uh, Jorge. Present teacher. Welcome, Jorge. Thank you. And Karina? Present. Okay. Welcome, Karina. And uh, Carla? Present teacher. Welcome, Carla. Thank you. And Santiago, no. And Linda? Present teacher. Okay, welcome Linda. Marlene? Marlene? No, no Marlene. Uh, okay, and Nelson? Nelson G? Present teacher, I'm sorry. That's okay. 
Thank you. Welcome, um, Nelson. And Norma. Norma? No? Olga. Olga? Okay. And Miguel? Present. Welcome, Miguel. Rocio? Present. Okay, welcome, Rocio. Thank you. Beatrice? Present. Okay, welcome, Beatrice. Suleima? Present. Welcome, Suleima. Tatiana? Tatiana? Uh, Nelson? Nelson A? Omar? Present, Miss. Welcome, Omar. Suleima? Uh, Megar? And Jose Rodrigo. Okay. All right. I'm just going to say the names of the people I didn't hear. I didn't hear Ani, Ana Maria. Present, teacher. Oh, okay. Welcome, Ani. Thank you. Okay, I didn't hear Ana Maria, Emily, Joanna, Santiago, Marlene, Norma, Olga, Tatiana, Nelson A, Suleyma Melgar, and Jose Rodrigo. Anybody missed? No? Okay, okay. Bye. Chicos, ¿cómo vamos a ir con la plataforma? Like a mí me falta la, la última unidad, el, la cuatro. La cuatro. Uh -huh. La voy in a my... trabajar ahora y mañana. Ok, great. In my... Teacher, in my case, eh, finish. Hey, excellent. Good for you, Carolina. Bravo. Sí, de hecho, si, no, si mal no recuerdo, a ver, la semana pasada cuando... Pasé reporte ya había visto que algunos ya habían terminado. So, if you are one of those people that finished last week, hey, good for you. Very, very good job. Um, yes, let's see. Tengo. Bye. Voy, voy, a, voy a hacer mención honorífico a los que ya tienen nota final. Tengo, uh, bueno, de la semana pasada. Tengo a Carla, so congratulations, Carla. Eh, tengo, eh, a Linda, también, congratulations, Linda. Nelson G, very good, well, congratulations. Norma, as well, and Beatrice. So congratulations to, to the five of you that I know finished last week. And I'm sure that, like Carolina, you finished this week, very good, excellent, good job as well. Very, very good. Um, tengo una, una pregunta que hacerles. Los que aún no han terminado, ¿creen ustedes que podrían uh, terminar para este fin de semana? ¿Será posible terminarlo este fin de semana? Yes, teacher, in my, in my case, is exam final only. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. I finished finish it, teacher. You finished. Hey, good for you, Jorge. Okay. Si no lo, no lo tengo todavía aquí, pero excellent. You too? I'm ready for good for you. Hey, excelente. Excelente. Bye. Um, es que, bye, les, les comento una cosa. Les pregunto, es, les hago esta pregunta por la siguiente razón. Eh, les digo antemano que el día de hoy va a ser mi última sesión con ustedes. Yo personalmente voy a estar el último día con ustedes porque um, el, el lunes um, yo voy a, ya voy a estar uh, fuera de, de, del país, entonces ya no voy a poder dar la clase, va a estar con ustedes otro, otro profesor. Entonces quería yo poder dejar las notas listas ya para el lunes 
eh, ya entregarlo listo. Entonces, yo quisiera saber, por eso les pregunto que si um, creen ustedes que será posible terminarlo para este fin de semana. Ustedes díganme, si los que todavía no han terminado, creen ustedes que lo pueden hacer se les, o es algo que se les imposibilita. En mi caso, I, I just missing the final exam. And yes, for, for the weekend, yes, I can finish all. Perfect. Thank you very much, Joanna. Excellent. Okay. Eh, ¿Y los demás? ¿Hay alguien que cree que tenga un inconveniente para poder terminar el fin de semana? No. Ok, va. Entonces, eh, bueno, esperamos entonces, espero que, que todos puedan eh, hacerlo y si alguien tiene un inconveniente este fin de semana, me escribe y yo voy a ver cómo hago para poder ayudarles, ¿verdad? Eh, pero como hay muchos que han terminado y no me han comentado que hay otro, otra falla en el sistema, me imagino que todo está en orden. ¿Sí? Oh, no. Everything was good. Everything is good? Yes. Yes. Okay. I Good. already finished all the activities on the final test and it was good. Okay. Wonderful. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Very, very good. Okay. So in that case, I hope everybody will be able to finish then on the weekend. And like I said, if not, you give you write to me and I will try my best to help you, okay? I will try my best. Remember, sometimes sometimes the mistakes that you have are simply a letter that is missing, or maybe you put another letter, or you, uh, or you, or you put um, uh, too many letters or a, an extra space. Some, 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 sometimes it's just like small details like that. So if you're, if you're having problems with the platform, like double check, that it's not something like that, like a silly mistake like that, right? And then maybe that's the reason why you're like, oh, teacher, I can't make it. And it's just because of a space, right? So that could be it. Okay, um, so any questions that you guys wanna ask before? No? Okay. All right, perfect. Um, Teacher, una consulta. La clase terminaría, bueno, el curso terminaría ahora o el lunes? No, 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 no. Yo no voy a poder estar con ustedes el lunes, pero ustedes siempre van a tener clase. Sí, solo que van a estar con otro profesor. Uh, ¿Y hasta cuándo termina el curso? El lunes. Ah, ok. Vamos hasta el lunes. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Any other questions that you guys have? No, teacher. No? Okay, very good. Okay, so we're gonna start um, the PowerPoint. Tell me if you can see it. Yes. yes. Wonderful. Okay, so this is a how to avoid a double negative. In English, it's not possible to have a double negative. Uh, and actually in English, it's, it's almost really impossible to have a double anything. Um, like it's very rare, it's very rare, let's say. So we're going to be learning how to avoid having this double negative, okay? So uh, your facilitator, Jessica Guerrero, is intermediate three. It's June 3rd, 2022, and it's class number 24. Okay, so let's start here with this, um, these two questions. What is the best way to get customers' attention towards your product? So if you had a product that you were going to advertise, that you wanted people to know about it, what would be the best way that you can grab their attention? How would you, and the other question is, how would you define, oops, sorry. How would you define ineffective and effective ways 
to increase awareness, okay? So if we wanna make that awareness, what's an effective way? You understand it? effective? What does it mean effective? Positive way. Positive way, yes. Anything else? Basically, um, effective means that it, it, um, it has the result that you want. Okay, there, so there's a result, a particular result that you want. And if it, if, it, um, can't, if it gets to that result, then it's effective. If it doesn't reach that result, it's ineffective, okay? So do we understand the difference between the two? get the result yeah yeah if effective or ineffective means it's talking about how well you you obtain a result the result that you want okay okay all right so that's the first thing i want you to do i at this moment i'm going to get you to work in pairs and i want you to just Discuss those two questions. Now, as I always tell you, I don't want you to pay attention to this. I just want you to pay attention to those two questions. Those are the only two questions you're going to be discussing. That's the only activity you're going to do. You're not going to read anything. You're just going to discuss. Sounds good? Sounds good. Yes, yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. So let me get you guys into your groups or yeah, your breakout rooms. Remember you're gonna be working in pairs. There might be a group of like two, two or like uh, three people, but, but mostly you are gonna be in pairs. Okay. Um, remember Carolina, right? Eh, váyase preparando porque okay all right um all right let me get you to work here and i'm opening the rooms Okay, let's discuss. Yeah. What is the best way to get customer attention toward your product? Mm -hmm. I don't know, what do you think? It's about what? I, I don't think know too much about marketing. Me neither, but as a customer, what do they can do in order that had your attention as a customer? So we can use them. maybe with a good advertising, I think. Uh, good promotions is in social media, maybe. And I don't know, is this one way to, to get to give, to, I guess, to give what you are, what you promise? For example, if you are going to sell, how do you say detergent in English? 
Nutrimente. And you say the, that detergent. I don't know. Detergent. Um, detergent. But you say that it's the best. It has to be the best, I guess. First of all. Yes, I think I uh, count uh, in a big way um, the image of the product too. Mm -hmm. Because you, if you have a good image, attract you, the customer may be uh, sell your product. Yeah, a visual connection. <laughs> yes. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, for me, yes. only that. Um, the next question is. How would you define ineffective and effective ways to increase awareness? What do you think? How would you define ineffective and effective ways? An effective is that you told to have good visual in the problem because they can recognize or ineffective. Ineffective is not product, no uh -huh. productive. <laughs> yes, um, advertising in social media <laughs> is a good way. Yeah, uh, because it's an ineffective. Yes, your promotion. Um, ineffective, I don't know. I don't know what I say about that. <laughs> Maybe sell products in a bad quality because consumers um, yes. are not going to to tell the other person about it. We are going to tell yes. that they have a bad quality. Yes, if you have if you have, have um, a bad experience, you can't recommend the product to another mm -hmm. person, maybe. And I think the customer services are one important thing in the process of marketing. And if you don't have if you don't have a good customer service, maybe. Estoy oyendo ahorita. Will trust. Will trust. Will trust. Will trust. Quality mm. products, good service. Mm. Mm. Will trust. Podría ser la survey, las encuestas. Que pueden definir, pueden definir las encuestas, pueden definir de un producto ineficiente a un producto, va a ser producto eficiente por opiniones del de los clientes. A ver. Fine. Uh, effective. 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 
right there. Aprende, eh, aprende, eh, define solo base. All right, guys, you had enough time to discuss, right? Yes? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, perfect. So the first one says, uh, no. Okay. So what is the best way to get customers' attentions towards your product? What do you guys think? I consider teacher yeah, the the best way right now could be use the social media to 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 get the the attention of the customers. Social media, okay, good. Teacher, mm -hmm. I believe uh, that all. Uh, the necessary strategy should be just to promote our products among them advertising via by by all the communication media that ex exist. Okay, very good. Okay. What else? Offer new customer response and promotion. Offer the Offer the customer discounts and promotion. Mm -hmm. Very good. Teacher, other other way could be when people are satisfied about the product and uh, start to communicate to 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 many people that he he knows. Okay. Very good. Okay. That, that's actually what we call word by mouth. Sorry, word of mouth. Word of mouth, yeah. I, I think mouth to mouth, but which is the correct name? Word of mouth. Repeat, please. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Of mouth. Yeah, I'll write in the chat. Okay, means boca boca. Mm hmm. Word okay. of mouth. Word of mouth. Word of mouth. Okay. Yeah, I found out of I I found out about it from word of mouth. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? All 
Okay. All right. Uh, what about the next question? How would you define ineffective? Uh, well, first, let's start with ineffective. Okay. How would you define ineffective ways to increase awareness? Let's talk about ineffective first. Ineffective, maybe when the message don't 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 go to the people. Okay, doesn't the, doesn't go because the message is singular, right? It it doesn't go. It doesn't go mm -hmm. to the to the target. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Very good. What else? Any other any other ways to, to detect an ineffective way to increase awareness? Uh, teacher, I think uh, when is when are uh, restaurants or or the restaurants when they have uh, music with high volume high volume for me it's ineffective uh, way for increase the customers okay okay very good Maybe can be teacher to a uh, bad experience with customer service of your company. Um, that is a, a bad way to um, that people can't um, recommend your your product. Maybe. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Other teacher could be when you launch a product without. Uh, promotion and people don't don't know the, the product uh -huh. don't recognize the product okay mm -hmm. okay so if they don't recognize it then it's an effective okay all right let's talk about effective now effective what would be effective way of increasing awareness So what would you do? Um, maybe do you do you have to to get a plan to to launch the the product that could be include use of social media, radio, okay. TV. So using social media, using radio, you said. TV, etc. Mm hmm. Okay. Maybe it could be an attractive image which attracts the attention for the customers, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe the giveaways, for example. Okay. Uh -huh. Giving, okay. So giving giveaways, okay. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Some brand has to use, um, sorry, some brands used to use a custom hashtag for Instagram to promote their product. In a using, using what? Using a custom hashtag in Instagram. To oh. come out there. That's okay. All right. Sounds good. Yes. Anything else? Uh, something that normally is effective is when there there are uh, a sale 
or one offer about the product, maybe it's cheaper than the regular time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anything else? Maybe post regularly to social media using your brand voice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay, perfect. All right, so we have different ideas here. Um, we have ideas of how to be effective, how to be ineffective, uh, and obviously what things we want to avoid. We don't want to be ineffective. So we're going to be, um, we, we are going to be reading this conversation. It says Olivia and Leo are brainstorming ideas about branding for Olivia's online business. Okay. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay. So we have Olivia, we have Leo. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the conversation, listen to the pronunciation. And, but we're going to have our microphones closed and you can practice the conversation with the microphones closed. Okay, so let's start with doing that. Okay, so everybody close your microphones. Okay. All right, um, so here we go. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses. But I don't know nothing. About branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing. The logo of your business. I noticed you changed it. At least five times last week. And fix and fix the spelling in your Logan, or so in your sorry, in your slogan. Designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it. But you know, it makes it look original. You mean you never noticed anything. I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay, so we're clear about the pronunciation of the words. Clear? Yes, no. Yes, teacher, for me it's clear. Clear? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right, so I'm going to put you again with the same, well, yeah, the same group, except there's gonna be maybe a small change with some groups. And um, I'm gonna ask you to, to read this conversation with your partner, right? Same conversation, one time it will be all Olivia, the other time it will be Leo. And then complete this part. It says, read the conversation again, write this corrections Leo made to Olivia's sentences. Okay, so you're gonna figure out from this conversation the changes that Leo made to the sentences that Olivia said, okay? All right, so it's clear what we're gonna be doing? 
Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's open up. I'm going to, so I'm going to give you a few minutes there to, I'll give you about eight minutes to read the conversation and then complete the exercise here. Okay. Here we go. Hello, Annie. Hello, teacher. No sé qué presioné. Me saco. <laughs> okay, here we go. Thanks. You, you first, if you want. Okay. I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. Yeah, so much. Okay, you mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it. At least, at least five times last week and fix the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but you don't know it makes it look original. You mean? You never notice, notice anything. I think you better hire a consult, consult, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Okay, Change. I'm Olivia. <laughs> okay. Yes. I'm trying, I'm trying to set an online business selling handmade dresses, but I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. You mean you don't know anything, Olivia? To start, you could stop changing the logo of your business. I noticed you changed it at, at least five times last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, designing happiness. That's not correct. Okay, I never noticed nothing about that spelling mistake when I made it, but but you you know it make it look original. You mean you never notice anything? I think you better hire a consultant, Olivia. They will help you with the business. Okay. Next, okay, read the and write the corrections Leo made to Olivia's sentence. Okay. Correction. Okay. I don't know nothing about branding or marketing. I don't know. Write the much. corrections. Write the correction. Write the correction you like a mistake. I don't, I don't know, know anything. nothing. Anything is the uh, the correct. Yes, I think the, the answer the correct is form each, anything. Each, nothing by anything. Okay, I don't know. I don't know anything about Leo Olivia's sentence. 
write the correction. Ah, okay. Um, no, the, the correction. Please. Okay, vamos a ver. Okay. Yes. Dice, I, don't I don't know, know. nothing about branding or marketing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, um, don't know. The field no. is in relation with the no. slogan. Dice, I noticed you changed it a uh, less five times this last week and fixed the spelling in your slogan, the signing happiness. That's not correct. This is the first correction for me. For and you, uh, for Or man can join me, I don't know. Porque, oh, sorry, I don't know, uh, I need, I'm, perdón. I don't know, uh, nothing about branding or marketing. Uh, and the first para for the olive. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for, the correction. Me, the correction. Uh, the correction. A uh, uh, Leo made to Olivia. The second for me is when say that uh, I think you better have a consultant. Mm. Okay. For me and you? For me... Uh, I never notification. Uh, you never notification a uh, 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 And did you? Oh, sorry, but it's not. It's a nodding. A is a, a needing. A needing about that is helping a mystery. I never know. No. Don't know. Write the correction, Leo. May to Olivia's uh -huh. center. And if I never notification, then I'm about the selfie. I don't know. Psyche. That... Psyche. No. I know you about you, no with a main. Three corrections que leo is in the I don't Acerca know branding or marketing. No, marketing. Dice, 
Uh, you mean you, you don't know anything, Olivia. To start, you call stop changing the logo. Uh -huh. Your or your business. business. Or your business. Notice to change it is. Uh, the spelling is your slogan or uh, designate happiness. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, it's uh, fears. Correction the the Olivia sentences is the signing happiness. the signing happiness. Uh -huh. that the Olivia. Not correct. Uh -huh. And second is. Yes, uh, for me is 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 this um i think you better hire a consultant mm, i think you better be a consultant olivia you will help you with the business es que dice acá de que que mm. Hello? Hello, teacher. Hello? Hi. Finish, Finish teacher. Hi. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. Wonderful. Okay, thank you. Let me room in a moment then. Okay. Hello? Well, even teacher finish. You're finished? Yeah. Ah, wonderful. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the main room in a moment then. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Hello, Rocío. Hello, Rocío. Hi. Hi, teacher. Um, what happened? I what? I returned. Huh? Oh. Sí, y cuando volví a entrar estaba en, estaba sola. <laughs> Entonces me quedé en la reunión principal. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't notice. I hadn't seen you there. I'm gonna bring everybody back. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. All right, everybody. You had enough time to discuss, right? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right. Um, I need you guys to open up those cameras because I need to see those beautiful faces so I can take your attendance. Okay. All right, here we go. Annie? 
Present teacher. Great. Ana María. Eh, Carolina. Present. Give me a second. Um, Emily? Present teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Hazel? Hazel? Joanna? Present teacher. Great. Jorge? Present teacher. Excellent. Karina? Present. Great. Carla? Present teacher. Great. Kevin? Al, al Santiago? Eh, Linda? Present teacher. Okay. Marlene? Marlene? Um, Nelson? Present. Okay, welcome. Eh, Norma. Norma. Ay, chicos, todavía estoy viendo como solo la mitad de la clase, así que por favor ayúdenme ahí con sus camaritas. Acuérdense que siempre debemos de tener encendida, no es solamente cuando, dan, cuando decimos present, sino que en todo momento. Um, ok, so Norma no, right? Olga. Miguel. Present. Ok, welcome Miguel. Rocío. Present. Beatriz. Present. Ok. Suleima. Suleima. Present teacher. Ok. Tatiana. Tatiana. Ok. Nelson. Nelson. Omar. Present. Suleima. Melgar. And Rodrigo. Ok. Very good. All right, guys. So let's talk about what you, um, the two questions, okay? Uh, the two questions that we have were, uh, okay, so it says, read the corrections Leo made to Olivia's sentence. The first sentence says, I don't know nothing about brand, branding or marketing. So what was, what was the correction? You don't know anything. Good. I don't know anything about branding or marketing. Next, next, next one. I never noticed nothing about the spelling mistakes. I never noticed anything, anything about that spelling mistake. Right, about the spelling mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just to make sure that we are on the same page, I'll write down the corrections. It says, I don't know anything. Okay, I don't know anything. And I never noticed anything about uh, the spelling mistake. Okay. So just Teacher, to make sure. could, could you please remind me the when you you use anything or nothing? Yeah. That's actually what we're going to be learning right now. Okay. That's actually okay. our next topic. Okay. So it's so this is clear, right? We understand the, the corrections. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. 
So now let's learn why. Why these corrections? Why do we need to do it that way? All right, let's, um, okay. So how to avoid a double negative. So uh, I need a volunteer to help me read this first part. Who can help me reread it? Anybody? Which part, teacher? Uh, this part here. Okay. Two negatives in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. The recommendation is to about, avoid using them since the result is that a statement like, I don't know nothing, could be interpreted differently as I, I don't know something. No, read that again. Interpret it different as? As I don't know something. I? Don't know. Don't know something. or do know. I do know something. Yes, I do know something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So in other words, if you do this, the double negative, it sounds like the opposite, right? It means like I do know something, right? It's like when you say in Spanish, yo si sé algo. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So, um, so let's let, let's look at this. Let's contrast this. We don't put publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of our product. Now, do you notice that here, the verb is negative? Right? What is the verb? Do. Uh, in, in the first one, the first sentence, what is the, what is the verb? Publish. Publish. Good, but not just publish. Don't publish. Don't publish, exactly. Okay. So notice that don't publish is negative, right? And if we put nothing well the word no at the beginning of nothing makes a negative so that's what we end up with the double negative that's not possible in english in spanish we, we can do that we can say ah, yo no sé nada right we can do that in spanish but in english we can't okay is that clear for everybody so don't do a double negative in spanish not possible, okay? So what do we do instead? What we do is um, we, we keep the verb, the verb in the negative. Hold on. We keep the verb in the negative, don't publish, but because it's already in the negative, we don't, we don't want to say nothing. We make the nothing affirmative. How do you make the nothing affirmative? By changing the no to the any. So we end up with don't publish anything. Does that make sense? Would you please repeat the, the last part, teacher? Okay. The word no at the beginning of nothing makes the word negative, right? Mm -hmm. Because if, if you, if you um, separate the two words, it's no, we end up with no and thing, right? No thing. So the no makes a negative. So to make the no negative, we have to put the word any at the beginning. So instead of saying no thing, it would be anything, which makes it affirmative. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Yes. Okay, I know it makes sense for two people in my class, but I don't know if it makes sense for everybody in my class. So please tell me. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, it makes sense, or no, no, it doesn't make any sense. Yes, teacher, sure, but um, I have a question. Uh, the meaning of nothing and anything, it's the same, right? Um, yes and no. One's affirmative, the other one's negative. Right? But the thing is that over here, the don't publish, the don't is already negative. So we can't have a double negative. Like I said, it's not like in Spanish. In Spanish, we say, no se nada. So the no, no se is negative, y nada is negative. And they go together, that's fine. But in English, no, we can't say no, it, the verb cannot be a negative and have the word nothing together. They can't go together. They clash, they cancel each other out. Veanlo así, veanlo así. Ok, ¿se acuerdan que en matemática? Eh, ¿Qué pasa cuando usted tiene un, un número negativo y le agrega otro número negativo? ¿Qué pasa? Se hace positivo. Se hace positivo. Ajá, se hace positivo. ¿Verdad? Sí. Yeah. Entonces, por eso no pueden ir juntos, porque mm -hmm. se cancelan. Mm -hmm. ¿Ok? Entonces, véanlo como en matemática, si les, si, si les está costando un poco entender esto, véanlo como matemática. En inglés, dos negativos se cancelan, entonces no, no va. Entonces, para mantener lo negativo, tenemos que tener uno negativo y otro positivo. En este caso, don't publish is negative. So the other one has to be positive. De hecho, aunque no esté acá, pero it's also possible to do it the other way around. Okay? So you could also write, we, hold on. We publish, okay? We publish? Nothing. Yes. Nothing unrelated. Blah, 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 blah. Okay? That's also possible. That is grammatically correct. And it's the same. These two sentences are the same. We don't publish anything unrelated to the benefits of our product, or we publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of our product. They mean the same thing. Why? Because one is negative and the other one is positive. Okay. In this case, this one, this one is negative, but this one is positive. Sorry, this one is, no, perdón, al revés la cosa. This one is negative and this one is positive. So it's okay. And then this one, the nothing is negative and the um, publish is affirmative. So it's okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Uh, one yeah. question. What about if if we use other word, uh, other word like, for example, we don't publish never? Yeah, not possible. Not possible. Because, no, not possible because never is negative, and don't okay. publish is negative. Okay. So we would have to say we don't ever publish. We don't ever, not never, but ever. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah. Does, do you see how that works? One has to be a, for a negative. The other one has to be positive. Always. Okay. Okay. All right. The other one, the other sentence says the company didn't get no sales after the event. It's not possible. All right, that's, that's, that's not possible to do. And the reason why it's not possible to do is because, give me a moment. OK. 
Okay. The other, the, okay, so over here, the company didn't get no addition sales, additional sales after the event. It's not possible. Why? Because didn't get is negative, right? Didn't get is negative. And then we have no additional sales, which is also negative. So they cancel each other out, right? They cancel them. So not possible. So we have to make, we have to keep one negative and the other one affirmative. So we have to, we say the company didn't get, so didn't get remains a negative. And then we, instead of saying no additional sales, we say any additional sales, which means that now it's, a, it's affirmative. Okay. The same thing with this one. The experts never said nothing about the drastic change of images in our product. The expert never said, never said. The word never makes it negative, right? And nothing is negative. So they cancel each other out, not possible. So we have to change one of those two to affirmative. So we say the experts never, we keep the never. And then instead of saying said nothing, we said said anything. And now said anything, it's affirmative. So they're okay. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, so it makes sense for Jorge. Does it make sense for the rest of you? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah? Any questions before we go ahead and practice it? No? Okay. All right, in that case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you in into small breakout rooms. Uh, okay. I'm going to put you into breakout room spot, three people each. And I'll give you, yeah, I'll give you about uh, eight minutes to complete, okay? Remember, always change one of them so that we have one negative and the other one positive, okay? Here we go. Let's open the rooms. Janina? Carla? Yes. The department does now not in about Brandy. A department doesn't know anything. Anything about branding. Yes, I agree with that. Yes. And the number one to neg negative. Does doesn't in nothing nothing. It has this correct. It is it, mm -hmm. yes. It's not anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The manager never tell us anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Many yet. Number three. I don't have anything against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. 
Number four. And you? Um, we didn't get any increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Yes. In number five, this customer don't don't, don't want any change. Anything. Uh -huh. Okay. In price. Hola, sí, aquí estoy. Lo que es. Okay, the, the first one is a department. Department doesn't know anything about branding. Correct. Yes. The manager never, Very. never tells us anything, anything about, about the brand. Brand. And probably the brands on the business. And I don't have anything against billboards mm -hmm. okay we didn't get we didn't get we didn't get any 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 yes any increase in christ increase in sales okay and, and the, the last answer. one the customer one one two don't want and don't any. want don't want anything. Check. We didn't get any increase in the number four. Any increase instead of no. We can just no. We didn't get any increase. Oh, we yeah. get no increase. I think. Sorry, repeat, please. We get no increase in order in order to use no. We it's get no increase. increase in sales after advertising on Facebook, okay. and if yeah. yes. Nazaria, um, we didn't get any. Yes. Yes. But, but we are trying to do the sentence in the other way in order to use the words that they are put there. there. Like uh, yes. you you need to change one part negative, but we think could be the the first one or the second one negative. Okay. In the last but, one, the customer don't want any change in prices. Yes. The customer don't want any change in prices. The customer wants the no change in prices. One, no change in prices. But I I think that don't don't sound good. Don't uh -huh. sound good. Uh -huh. Sounds good when you use any. The customers don't want any change in price. The customers want no change in price. Want no change. Want no change. I think it sounds like no correct. Teacher, is it correct in a way? Which one? When we say the customers want no change in prices. Uh, teacher, teacher. We are, I think that it doesn't make sense if we wrote like this. 
Teacher. That's a double negative. Yes, we we understand uh, we have to avoid double negative, mm -hmm. but we, we can change uh, both part or the first one or the second one. Um, or, or yes, yes, you're in theory, you're absolutely right. Yes, you can change whichever one you want. But uh, mostly we're right now for this activity, we're changing the no and the any. Teacher, and if I say customers don't want uh, changes in prices any anymore? Mm -hmm. It could be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but yes, but that kind of changes the meaning. I mean, it's not grammatically incorrect, but it kind of changes the meaning. But uh, it's possible to change uh, the first part negative in this sentence. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in the number three, I have nothing against billboard, but the truth is they are too expensive. It's correct. Can you repeat that again? I have nothing against billboard. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Okay, but what's, uh, the, what's the other part? Uh, we are eliminate, uh, don't, the first part negative. Mm -hmm. To keep the, the meaning of the sentence, or we are thinking that's correct. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Okay, can okay. we uh, write, I, I have nothing against. I have nothing against. Mm -hmm. it, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's correct. Okay. It is, My bad, it is correct. but maybe it doesn't sound good. No, 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 it's, it's okay. It's just that I think for this, for this exercise, they want you to change the, the, the so and they want you to change the no and the any, not the verb. But it's not incorrect. I'm just saying it because maybe if you get a sentence like this in the platform, then you may say, oh, teacher, but I, I tried it like this and it, it wasn't the correct answer. But it, because, it might be because of that. They just want you to change the no and the any and not the verb. Well, okay. okay? Okay. All right, I'm going to bring you back to the main room. See you in a bit. Okay. See you. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miguel. We're bringing Hello. everyone back. Okay. 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 All right. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Ready, teacher. Yes. Yes, Perfect. Okay. Let's check. Please tell me when you can see my PowerPoint. You see the PowerPoint? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, great. Okay, so I'm going to pick different people and you guys are gonna help me with the change. 
Uh, the first person I'm going to ask is Rocio. Can you help me with number one, Rocio? Yeah. The department doesn't know anything about branding. Very good. Okay. So the department doesn't know anything about branding. Okay. Very good. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, good. Uh, number two, Emily, please. The manager never tell us anything about the plans to improve the brand of the business. Right, excellent. So the manager never tells us anything about the plans to improve the brand, the brand of the business. MB2 never say anything. Mm -hmm. Sorry? Can be to the manager never say anything? Um, yes, but uh, I mean, then you're changing the verb and that's not the, I mean, grammatically speaking, it's okay, but that's not the exercise. Teacher, I have a question about this verb. What's the difference between tell and say and talk? And what? Talk. Mm. Talk is, is hablar, verdad? But tell and say? You tell somebody something and you say something, but we never say somebody something. Okay? Please. You tell somebody something and you say something to somebody so it's just a matter of the or the grammatical order okay so you say something to somebody and you tell something Start you tell somebody something. Does that make sense? One example, please. Yes. Let me just write in the chat. You tell somebody, and I'm gonna just abbreviate to somebody with SB and something with SMY, SMTH, sorry. And you say something to someone or to someone, somebody. So it's a, it's a matter of grammatical structure, okay? So he told me a story, told me a story, right? So he is told, told is the verb to be um, tell. The somebody is me and the something is a story. Okay. Um, he said a lie. Um, No, hold on. He said, no, he said, um, said, eh. You say a lie to me. Yeah, it's, it's just that, that um, with lie, we, we normally use tell, we tell a lie. We don't say a lie normally. He said, um, the truth. 
she said um the he said the um the class list in he said the class list no hold on let me think no, wait, hold on let me think of a better idea um he's for example um i don't know uh, emily uh, tell me liars lies and emily say lies to me that's the correct order the grammar order right right yeah uh -huh. yeah he said his name um to us mm -hmm. okay sorry he said his name to us sorry about the 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 symbols so he said and then his name is a something and then to somebody right to us okay Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. And next, um, we'll have next we'll have um, Karina. Please help me with number three, Karina. Karina. Karina? Uh, yes, um, I don't have anything against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. Good, okay, so I don't have anything. Okay. I don't have anything against billboards. Okay. All right, number four. Um, Miguel, can you do number four, please? Miguel? Miguel? Okay, let's uh, then work with Omar. No idea, teacher. No idea? Okay. No. All right. Um, Linda? And we didn't get no, sorry. We didn't get any increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Good, okay, we didn't get any increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Okay, good. Number five, um, Suleyma. Suleyma? Hi, teacher. Can you do number five? Oh, mm. we didn't get any increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Okay, number five, number five, Suleyma. I pardon. Okay, and the customers don't don't wait don't want any change in price good excellent the, the customers don't want any change in price all right so see it's not very difficult right instead of putting no we're going to put any right to make it affirmative now 
grammatically speaking, we can also change it another way. We could also say, for example, number one, we can say the department knows nothing about branding. Knows nothing about branding. So in this case, we change the, the verb to make it affirmative. But for the purpose of the exercise that, you know, we're just changing the any and no, this is okay. Any questions so far? Not sure. No? Okay. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to work in pairs, look at the following questions, discuss the questions, and then share your ideas with the class. Okay, the two questions are, how passionate are you about the brands you consume? Oops, sorry. And do you feel these products define who you are? Okay, so those two questions. I'm going to get you to work in pairs. I'm going to switch around your partner so you have a different... Um, partner. Okay, here we go. And I'm only going to give you five minutes to discuss. All right, here we go. Hello, Rocio and Carla. Hello, teacher. I'm looking for the, the questions. Let me. How passionate are you about the brands you consume? Okay. Hi, uh, Carla. Are, are you here? Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay. Um, microphone. Well, <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. Uh, well, about me, about the, the first question, how passionate are you about the brands you consume? And um, I think um, I'm not passionate in a specific brand, um, in especially uh, the product of personal care because I continue, I, well, I constantly changing the, that product. Uh, for example, I change the, the shampoo, uh, shampoo. Um, <laughs> um, three months, I don't know how to say, cada tres meses, uh, or three Every months. three months. Oh, sorry, what? Every three months. Every three months. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I change the my personal, my personal, no, my personal products. No, my my product my products of personal care. Every three months, and but let me think. In, if we like how to work, for example, yes, for the same brand, but the what, same brand what about the the cell phone i like apple but but this is very expensive then i have to to use maybe samsung mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i use samsung too because i consider they are they are good 
Yes. In order to cheap, to not too expensive. Yes, it's cheaper than Apple, the iPhone. Yes. Okay. So the, we agree. Yes. In the next question, do you feel this product define who you are? Mm, not necessary. <laughs> because not always. Not always, because the depends uh, several times of the the price of the product. Maybe we always want to to get the best, but not always you can pay for that. Yes, but I consider yes because there are your lights. Mm -hmm. So, for example, as we were talking yesterday about ice cream, so uh, you have a, a favorite flavor that other people maybe don't like. So, Yes. It depends on you, it can maybe define yes. about you. what do you like or why don't. It's your decision. Mm -hmm. It's your decision. Yes. Yes, but uh, do you feel or, or do you think the product defined you define who you are define who you are yes okay maybe if we are talking about ice cream for example you can say the coconut is your favorite Just which one which one coconut yes no. <laughs> For example, For me, strawberry. Strawberry is okay. Uh huh. So, because you are, what do you like and what you don't like? So you choose the brand according to that decision. Yes. Yes, I agree with with that answer. Okay. But always the, the question are some kind of confused to, to, to get uh, the right answer, or maybe it's just your opinion, maybe. Yes, because it's your opinion. You can, uh, for example, your answer can be different than mine if you don't, con don't consider the answer as yes or not. Yes. Uh, what about a car, for example? If you want to get a, a Tesla. I don't know the price. <laughs> I don't know um, too a, much about cars. Maybe 18,000. No, 80,000, no, eight, 18, 18,000. No, it's I can't. Very, <laughs> it's very expensive to. Yes. But I could be uh, defined that product. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is also that the capacity that you have to buy, <laughs> as you maybe, say. Maybe, maybe I, yeah. I don't have the capacity to, to buy them, but maybe I like it. Yes. But yes, but most of the time you can decide about the product that you consume. Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's, it's for that you can 
you can uh, uh, feel feel good with this comfortable with comfortable with with the the product mm -hmm. what else or or just uh, discuss two question what's the example the exercise the exercise repeat please uh, the exercise is just uh, to discuss yes. the two questions i guess I guess yes. Okay. What else we can uh, discuss? Uh, maybe we can we can answer the two questions with two or three words mm -hmm. for example for example how passionate are you about the brands you consume maybe loyalty consumers or consumer loyalty Um, loyalty customer. I guess it is loyalty customer. Loyal, loyal, oh, loyal, loyal customers as an adjective. Loyal consumer. Yes, loyal consumer could be. And in the second one, do you have any idea? Uh, maybe comfortable could be. Do you feel this product define who you are? Comfortable. Yes, if you feel comfortable uh, with the brand, so you're going to decide to buy it in the future okay maybe the two words could be comfortable and decide you decide no mm -hmm. about what do you want yes you have the decision <laughs> you have but the time is over i think because it's 10 oh three 10 oh three is correct or 10 and three minutes We learn us uh, a in three minutes, but I guess we can we can say a o two. But when we say o, it's mostly in or ten past three or ten with three minutes. Three. Three past, past ten. <laughs> Al revés, sería yo. Three past ten. No. Oh, yes, or no. <laughs> well, it could be. Or ten. Yes, could be three plus ten. Past ten, uh huh? Three plus ten.
because in other case it would be 15 minutes less 10, no. Mm -mm. 10 less 15 minutes. 15 minutes past, 15 minutes past 10, for example. Or oh, we can say 15 minutes. If, if you want After. to say 9 and 9.45, but you, you want to use the 10 hours. Or fifteen minutes from from ten or fifteen, 15 minutes 10, 10 two, to ten two fifteen, 15 minutes to ten fifteen minutes to ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess we finished, teacher. But the to teacher, discuss the question. Yes, because we are sleeping. We almost <laughs> sleeping, teacher. Maybe, maybe if we can uh, up the hand or hand the up. No, up the hand <laughs> to get to to help you okay. to para pedir ayuda, ¿cómo se dice? Ah, to, raise the hand. Raise the hand. Levantar la mano. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh, raise, raise the hand or raise your hand. Raise the hand and yeah, up the hand is the same or not sounds good? Um, because for example, when you are in a party, they say put your hands up, but it is like um, informal. If you say raise your hand, it is like uh, hand up. In a formal way. Yes, maybe it's more polite. Mm -hmm. Raise hand. Raise your hand. Or when you wake up in the morning or rise in the morning. Get up. up. Get up. Wake up. Get up. Get up. Get up, wake up is like when you are your eyes are closed and you open, wake up. Mm -hmm. And get up is to go out to the bed. Okay, and rise. And you cannot say stand up if you are sitting in a chair. Only <laughs> stand up. Yes. Or maybe in the floor, but if you are sitting. But you can say stand up if you are lying in the bed. Mm -hmm. For example, if you can say in the morning, I stand up. For us, it's like a levantarse. Me levanto de la cama, me levanto de la silla. But in English, we can say that. Um, raise is when you say, in this case, raise your hand up. Or if you're talking about the sun, the moon. Yes, I that know. was thinking about the, the sun, maybe. Mm -hmm. In the morning, the sun rises. The moon. The uh, The stars. Yes, the the classmate is asking about what time the class is over. It is about it is similar 
the question that Joanna asked about say, tell, and talk. For us, there are close similar, but what is the question? little by little, using the language, we start to, to learn how to use, but we need to practice. We need to practice speaking English. Yes, we need I guess to the teacher has troubles because it is too late. Okay, I um, I can write present in the Hello, teacher. Hello. We're going to bring everybody back. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so I hope you had a little bit of chance there to discuss that with your classmate. Um, give me a moment. Okay, uh, bye chicos. Um, oh, give me a moment. Okay, so how passionate do you feel about the brands that you consume personally? Do you feel very passionate about it? Or not so much? It doesn't really matter what you, what you, what you have for yourself. Hello? Yes, teacher, passionate with the brand. Mm, okay, very good. So you don't change these products? Normally not. No? I, I prefer the brand that regularly. Okay. All right. Do you feel that they define who you are personally? Do you say, oh, I, I, I feel identified with this brand name? Uh, most of, of the time, yes. Yeah. But, but maybe could be in some case, but some products that are very expensive and I can't pay for that. <laughs> okay, okay, sounds good, sounds good. Okay, guys, um, we're gonna stop there today. I am going to take attendance. You let me know if, you, um, if you're here, open up your microphone, say present, and we'll do it quickly. Annie? Present teacher. Ana Maria. Carolina. Present. Emily. Present. Hazel. Joanna. Present. Eh, Jorge. Present teacher. Karina. Present. Carla. Kevin Santiago. Linda, no se me vayan todavía, chicos. Eh, Present. Okay, very good. Marlene? Nelson? Norma? Eh, Olga? Miguel? Present. Eh, Rocío? Present. Pietri? Present. Suleima? Present. Tatiana? Eh, Nelson? A. Eh, eh. Omar? Present. Suleima Melgar? Y José oh, Rodrigo. Ok. Bye, chicos. Entonces, eh, uh, para los que no estuvieron al principio de la clase, uh, les recuerdo y les comento que... Um, Vamos a tratar de completar eh, la plataforma, vamos a, a completar la plataforma 
para este fin de semana. Así que debería ya estar listo ya para el lunes. Eh, porque um, les comentaba, como les comentaba al principio de la clase, yo ya no voy a poder estar para el lunes. Entonces voy a dejar todo listo uh, para que pues el, el próximo, eh, para que el, el, el profesor que va a estar con ustedes uh, no tenga inconveniente. Pero solamente se voy a dejar todo listo. Eh, así de que por favor no se les olvide que tienen que tener esa plataforma lista ya para el lunes. Para que solamente rapidito podamos uh, mandar ese reporte, ¿ok? Teacher, I have already finished. Wonderful, excellent, Joana. Good for you, good for you. Y bueno, entonces, como ya no los voy a ver, um, espero que se cuiden mucho eh, y tal vez más adelantito nos volvamos a ver, ¿verdad? Y, um, y acuérdense, no vayan a faltar el lunes porque el lunes es la encuesta. Acuérdense que es la encuesta y la encuesta es parte de los requisitos que, um, para, que ustedes tienen que llenar para poder um, seguir al próximo nivel. Así que no se vayan a, a, solamente porque no va a estar la teacher, no significa que ustedes no van a estar, ¿ok? Tienen que estar porque acuérdense que tienen que pasar el curso, ¿ok? Así que se cuida mucho. Mucho gusto. Welcome. Take care. Feliz viaje. Feliz viaje, teacher. Y muchas gracias por todo. Buenas noches. Te agradecemos mucho. Buenas noches. Cuídense mucho. Mucho gusto, teacher. Mucho gusto. Feliz viaje. Gracias, gracias. Cuídense mucho.